In this video, you will learn how to make a toggle switch button using only CSS. This will be a quick and value packed tutorial, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go! First, let's write out toggle HTML. We create a div with the class of toggle container. This will be the outer wrapper for multiple elements. Then we add an h2 with my toggle buttons as the text. Obviously, choose whatever text you want. Now comes the HTML for the toggle button field. Add a label with the class toggle label and for tag with toggle one. The for tag is very important to match our label with the input. Inside the label, add an input with the ID of toggle one. Now our browser knows that the label and the input belong together and clicking the label will cause a click on the input. Cool, right? Also, add a class of toggle input and type check. Box. Next to it, add an empty div with the class of toggle switch and a span with the class of toggle text. Add any text you want, in our case toggle me. Copy the whole toggle label block so we have two toggle buttons later. Don't forget to change the for tag and the ID of the input to toggle2. And that's all of the HTML we need. The magic now happens in the CSS. First, we style our toggle container by giving it a padding of 25 pixels, a min height of 200 pixels, a height of 50%, a width of 80% and a max width of 500 pixels. This will give it enough space on the screen and make it responsive for different sizes. Also, so make the border slightly round with a 10 pixel border radius and set it apart from the background with a box shadow of 0, 5 pixels, 20 pixels, 0 and a color of RGBA 100, 100, 100, 0 0.2. For the toggle container h2, change the color to blue with hashtag 186DE9, align the text in the center and add a padding bottom of 10 pixels. Now it's time to style the actual toggle button. For the label with the class of toggle label, we set display to flex to line all children in a row. Center them with a line item center and add a margin of 10 pixels at top and bottom and zero left and right. Now we want to hide our ugly input field completely. We select the input with the class toggle input and we set the height and width to zero. Also set the visibility to hidden. Now you cannot see the input anymore, but by clicking on the label we can still toggle it. Remember, we set a for tag earlier. Then we style the div with the class of toggle switch. This element will get our toggle button style. We set a gray background of hashtag DC, DC, DC. We set a cursor to pointer so we see that we can click on it. And give it a width of 60 pixels and height of 30 pixels. Give it a border radius of 50 pixels to make the edges round. A margin right of 10 pixels will push the text to the right. That looks better. Lastly, position it relative so we can position the pseudo element absolute to it. Then we create an after pseudo element for the div with the class of toggle switch. This will become our white slider element that moves from left to right. We set content to an empty string. This is important because the pseudo element needs a content property but we don't want any text in it. We position it absolute and give it a white background with hashtag FFF. Give it a width of 26 pixels and a height of 26 pixels and position it 2 pixels top and 2 pixels left. That way we have a 2 pixel distance to the label itself which creates this nice border look. Since we want this element round, we'll give it a border radius of 100 pixels. Lastly, add a transition of 0.3 seconds and ease in out to get a smooth animation later, once we toggle it. Also, for the span with the class of toggle text, we want to set the cursor to pointer so we know that we can click on it. Next, we change the background of our toggle button to green once the input is marked as checked. So select the input field with the checked state, meaning it has been selected, and then get to div with the class of toggle switch. The plus sign means that we look for a sibling, so an element inside the same HTML block. We give it a nice green background using hashtag 9CE287. Now comes the interesting part. Once we click on the label, we also want to move our white after element all the way to the other side of the toggle button. And here's how to do that. Again, we look for the input with the checked state and get its sibling, the div with the class of toggle switch. Here we want the after pseudo element. Once the input is checked, we want to move this after element. So we can change its position by changing the left property. You can use the calc method to calculate the position from the left. Inside the brackets, write 100% minus two pixels, which again is the two pixel border we want to have. To send that at the right position, use transform with translate x set to minus 100%. This will move it back inside the toggle switch button. Lastly, we create a nice little effect by changing the look of the pseudo element when the label is active, meaning that we're clicking on it. Select the input with the active state, then select the div with the class of toggle switch and get the after pseudo element. Change the width to 35 pixels. Now anytime you click on it, it starts to move to the other side the moment you click on it and the movement overall becomes more fluid. And that's how you create modern looking toggle buttons using only CSS. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you did find this video helpful and you want to see similar web development tutorials, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.